it was popping people we are back and today you know I got a comment they're saying hey we should talk about potential drops and I saw that comment and I was like hell yeah got my viewers coming up with content for me let's go but because I haven't s sat down and thought about this stuff too much we got a guest today and this man has been on an anti Snorlax crusade ever since people started saying you know what Snorlax would really actually just be great for this tier, so. I'm on the, I'm, who are you? Introduce yourself, friendo. Uh, what's poppin'? It's your boy, Awen. You got my boy, Awen, with me. Just eat my goddamn granola. Ah, nice granola. <laughs> yes, sir. <laughs> and as yeah. always, oh, what you said. Ah, true. Snorlax do be eating granola. <laughs> mm hmm. Look at that belly. <laughs> Honestly. This man eating a little bit more than granola. <laughs> yeah, probably. Before we get too much into this, I do want to thank y'all for the 1,200 subs. Let's Good benchmark. Go. You know, honestly, I thought we'd only hit maybe 1K this year, but we're already we're already on our way to 2K. So remember, if you are enjoying the content, you may as well drop a subscription. Think about it this way, right? If you subscribe, you won't miss the videos. And then I'll keep making the video. Look at that. It's such a nice relationship. Anyhow, <laughs> <laughs> so along with just the drops, we did want to talk about a little bit about a potential rise out of Inu, which would be Celebi, and then I'm on that would rise into Inu from PU Passimian. Now, keep in mind, guys, these are not guaranteed to happen. The only one that I would say is like probably guaranteed is Celebi rising to RU. I mean, that, that, that's that been like consistent across every month, but this is just based on the usage stats post at the beginning of the month, saying if these mods retain their usage, what would happen so all the these first three mods may not drop celebi may not rise out of in you Passimian may not rise into in you we don't actually know that yet so just keep that in mind so first mod though the blade now i am of the opinion that the blade would actually be a really good addition to the tier i think pretty much everyone agrees with that as well i think the big thing is just that it is a steel type and if you're a lower tiers player it, we don't get very many good steel types. <laughs> I think this is the first generation that NU can look at its selection of steel types and be pretty excited. Historically, it's been Steelix really is the only one, and when I say historically, I mean going back to like Gen 6. But Steelix has been like the best defensive steel type that we've been allowed. And it's up until this year that we've gotten a lot of other really good ones. Scavalier, Bronzong, Kaparaja, and now potentially the Blade. And I think the big hey, thing... Togedomaru. Is uh, right there. Yeah, no, no, it's not. <laughs> <laughs> I think the big thing that makes the blade really cool too is it makes the lives of things like Iron Defense, Body Press, Bronzong really, really sad. And that's a mon that a lot of people have just been annoyed with for a while. So to have a mon in our tier that says, you know what, not only do I wall you forever, but I also set up against you is really cool. And I'd say another big benefit too is Braviary is one of those mons that sort of takes advantage of certain steel types, not named Bronzong, but it can bulk up versus a lot of them. And because a good amount of our steels are even taking like neutral from CC, it you know it's still breaking them. So just another hard answer that's really cool. It you know Celebi stays. You hard answer any set that um doesn't have Earth Power, and most of them are running like Psychic or Sphere Recover alongside Nasty yeah. Flood. Yeah. It's also a really good ninjask answer. You know, our yeah, other the, very, the very relevant ninjask. Hey man, people still like that one. That's true. Oh, Toxicroak as well, actually just being like walled forever by this mon, with the standard uh, set at least. Very cash. That's also true. Yeah. You this mon just like the blade? this. This mon just also checks like every physical attacker in the tier. It does. Look at this physical bulk. I didn't notice this until 150 with an Aviolite. Yeah, so throw that max HP as well. Aviolite, the squad literally uninvested in defense. Y you get like over 500 physical bulk. That's do, so insane. Let me do an actual number here. Uninvested, you're hitting 504 defense. Yeah, you could... Just like... Like, which is like Reggie Rock levels. Yeah, you're freed up really easily to go, you know, like adamant max attack. Maybe a little bit of speed creep. Maybe you just want to outpace those Delmis and then just rest in yeah. HP. And you're just walling everything. So, like, we want to just do, like, what would probably be a standard set. Or like, Sword Set, probably. Shadow Claw, CC, Shadow Snake, I'd guess. Uh, yeah, something like that. Yeah. 
I think you could probably fit Iron Head over there somewhere, but yeah, I feel like your pri like your main stab is definitely expendable. Like you could do Shadow Claw or or Iron Head. I feel realistically, Shadow Claw isn't the most important move, but I think it is nice versus say like in a Scavalier, especially if it's an SD Scavalier. Yeah. Because, you know, Iron Head isn't doing shit to that Shadow Claw. I mean, it's weaker to the CC, but you don't really want to lower your defenses against that mod. Nope. Like, think... at Snake and CC seem like the most, uh, uh, what's it called, uh, necessary moves. Yeah. I don't know why I blinked on that. I feel like you could probably even get away with some, like, other sets on this, too. If I'm looking at move pull, like, maybe uh, something with Toxic could work. Protect Toxic could be pretty sick. Yeah, with, I think... Like, the big knock against that compared to say maybe just like utility bronzong would obviously be you don't have lefties recovery which is a little bit annoying but if i'm thinking about like say i wanted to put the blade on a stall build or something i don't know why i would but say i wanted to i wonder if you would get more run out of one of those more utility based sets yeah, you could probably run something like Rest Toxic Protect or something. Or Rest Toxic yeah. plus... Or even just like Rest 3 Attacks could maybe work. Yeah. Because this one's not dying to any physical hit in one. And the thing is, it's also beaten by every special attacker. It is. Despite the physical bulk being like cracked beyond cracked, um, this special bulk is really depressing to look at. I guarantee you Heliolus Specs T-Bolt does like 80. Uh, clean 80. Yeah. Even yeah. something like Celebi, man. Like, I said Celebi checked this, or was checked by this, because it doesn't run Earth Power too frequently. I'm a little but, bit worried, actually, about how much plus two Psychic does. Uh, I can run some... Uh, Specs Thunderbolt to the standard spread on the Calc, uh, which is 212 HP, 0 Spadef, sure. is doing 73 min. <laughs> Wait, how was I just right about that doing 80, though? That's yep, wild. That is, that is true. 80 is the mid roll. My god, that is... that's disgusting. And plus two Psychic's doing 61. Or 60. I mean... Sorry. Eh, you check it. If you have Shadow Claw, I bet Claw into Sneak will KSL be. So there's that. Probably. Yeah, it does. Ah, not bad then. Alright, let's talk about Reggie Drago next. This is like... Reggie Drago's a hard mod to talk about, I feel. <laughs> yeah, definitely. This one is like... A combination of Guzzlord and Exploud, where Exploud clicks funny button mm -hmm. majority of the time, and it just has like identical bulk to Guzzlord. Yeah, my favorite thing about this mod is that despite it being probably one of the weirdest ways that you could just brute force through steel types outside of Exploud, because Dragon Energy at max power is going to do a million. Um, the, unlike Exploud. Uh, there, there's this there's this type that they added in the game um it's called fairy <laughs> this one doesn't have a single move that lets you break fairies you don't even uh, get no. like metal claw bro it, it's really sad it really is so i'm just kind of left here wondering despite because again i think reggie drago could be sort of centralizing in its own way because dragon's maw boosted specs attacks for instance yeah. Those look it's gonna it's gonna force a fair it's gonna force a fairy onto every team, I feel. Which I is kinda constricting, but it's yeah. like But the Sylveon and Diancy are already Sylveon everywhere. and Diancy are already really good. And even the steel types, I feel probably hold up decently into it anyway, just because they're pretty bulky, all things considered. Yeah. But like <sighs> oh god, six coverage is so bad. You look for special attacking moves. I feel like you're actually stuck running triple dragon stab into like ancient power. Yeah. I was looking at legitimately hyper beam. Yeah, that's really dire. It, yeah, it, this mon is horrendous. You might even be better off just running three attacks on this thing and <laughs> say fuck your last slot. Run sleep talk just, last. <laughs> honestly, you know, sleep talk plume starts rising up. Maybe. Sleep Powder Vile Plume comes out and you just say, alright, here's my Sleep Absorber. <laughs> yep. Here it is. <laughs> Would be the worst thing ever. It's not like Ancient... Because here's the thing, right? Ancient Power doesn't really add useful coverage at the end of the day. It's more just so you no. have a move that'll damage the fairies. Yeah. Honestly, I feel like you might just be even better just running Boom. And just, oh. like, exploding. Yep. Which, I mean, to be fair, physical sets might be better. Just because it has actual moves to use for that. 
Okay, let's not get too far ahead of ourselves. We're still actively walled by okay. fairy types. True. But you do have Fire our... Fang. You know, you can, you can hit Copper Raja. Yeah. Hammer only, as well. Uh, uh, the physical coverage is definitely better, but it's not ideal. Yeah. There's like Boom, Elemental Fang, being uh, Fire Fang. Yeah. I Crunch, it was like Body Slam. Yeah, which is still Facade. bad. Facade. But... You're not walled by steel types, at least this way, or yeah. not to the same extent as a special set is. I still, man, I almost want to say like, there's still no reason to not just run special sets and spam dragon energy. It's true. Even Draco and like, Meteor, man. And like, Draco and Dragon Pulse, like, you have three solid moves. Mm-hmm. Let me actually uh, calc this. this. This mon is like really difficult to gauge. I know it two it KOs Fizz Def Zong. Like by Fizz Def I mean like full Fizz Def. Right. I'm gonna With just... Dragon Energy. I'm gonna calc how much like Dragon Energy does to um say Copper Raja. I'd do like 35-ish, I think, from specs. Yo, wait. I didn't even have the ability in. Okay, I guess it just defaults to the ability if the mod only has one. It does 59 min to Rock's Copper. Alright. That is damage. Okay. Um, that is big damage. This is Fizz Def Song. Let's give it some special bulk. That's not the number I meant to put in there. Please. Uh, Zong. Oh, yep. 56 and a half to 66 and a half. Okay. Yep. This is what modest specs, by the way, so I don't... Yeah. I feel like you probably could get away with Modest because Gudra never really runs plus speed. That's true. Um, es Escavalier. We'll even go Spadef Escav. Full Spadef. Ah, 51 to 60. Okay. This mod does a lot. Holy. Yeah. And you're not always going to have the max power dragon's energy. Let's, But like, let's even call Draco. Draco Meteor does 44 to 52 to Escav. That's still insane damage. Um, and you can easily pair this with another mon that just, like, puts pressure on SGAF. Bro, AV Copper is to it KO'd by a full health dragon energy. With ease. Yeah, this mon is, like, strong as shit, but it's yeah. also incredibly difficult to pin where it's going to be in the middle. This mon could definitely be, like, an A tier mon. Yeah, like, it could be a great Like, A minus might be... A minus A might be the peak. This mon is not an A plus mon, I don't think. The problem Just is it's gonna be full, but it, you literally but can't break fairies. Yeah, and they're so good. Range from, it's gonna range from A being like the absolute ceiling to like B minus being the floor. I could. This mod is gonna that. be bad because the main problem. I, I will say this: just because it's got that Guzzlord like bulk, it has some utility on that front. The annoying thing is that means you don't get to just abuse dragon energy if you're trying to make use of that bulk. That and while is Draco true. is still good, you can't spam Draco as easily as you could spam a max health dragon energy. Yep. And so that's going to leave you vulnerable to being taken advantage of by a litany of setup sweepers. If you're spamming that out, like even a bronze on could start iron defensing up versus you, for instance. Yeah, and I think Dragon Energy only has like 8 PP, so it's definitely PP stallable. So you're going to be looking at a lot of competition with Reggie Drago, and then like the two most comparable things, obviously, Guzzlord and Gudra, where with yeah. Gudra you're literally the same speed tier, but instead of just I click one button to kill you, Gudra's got a whole bunch of coverage, which has made it, you know, part, part of the reason why Gudra's really good now. People are running like Iron Tail sets, and while you don't Oko Deancey or Sylveon, you heavily pressure them, whereas Reggie Drago just can't do that. Yeah. And even versus something like... Well, I don't know if Trigalgy is a comparison or not. Not really. Uh, yeah, it, it works, I think. It's 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 a very fringe comparison, I feel. Yeah, it's but kind even of bulky Dragalgy and is has like, strong moves. Even Dragalgy having that poison typing is nice because then it is actively able to pressure fairy types. Bro, Dragalgy being able to pivot even is nice. Yeah. Yeah. Like, say Dragalgy just... wasn't part poison, it could at least still pivot versus um, a Sylveon, for instance, and then have yeah. something else come in. With Reggie Draco, you don't get that same benefit. Given Hidden Power was in the game, this mod would legitimately run Hidden Power Steel. It would. You have object. to. And it would be really good. <laughs> yeah. I think it'd still be walled by Sylveon forever, but at least Deancey would pop. Yep. Hidden Power Poison moment. Ah, uh, not bad. Still walled by Deancey. Yep. 
Alright, let's get to the next one. So here's the most contentious possible drop of them all. Big Papa Laxinator. Now we actually had Snorlax for like two days earlier this generation. Back when power level, like, overall was significantly lower. So Snorlax, yeah. you know, it got banned immediately. But we got some conflicting opinions here. So the first one is that Snorlax would actually be great for the tier. You know, it could stat check a lot of stuff. And it just generally be like a nice addition, but not overbearing anymore. With like counterplay actually existing to it, say Surfetched critting you with a Scrappy, not Scrappy, but Leak CC. Um, things like Iron Defense Bronzong, SDS Cavalier even giving it issues. And then we got people like Awen here who think Snorlax would legitimately ruin this tier. So I wanna, I'm gonna let him preach his words here because he's been very outspoken. Yeah, this mon. yeah, this. This mon is something, right? So we just pan over to the stats here. This is just where the first part I'm looking at here. This mon really realistically checks every special attacker in the tier not named like Psyshock Starmie. Yeah. Realistically. Analytic Psyshock probably is like doing 80. Wouldn't be surprised. Yeah, probably, it pops the shit out of you. But not all of them are Psy Shock. I mean, it is, it is an option there for your Psychic sub, obviously, with the Psychic versus Psy Shock debate. But a lot but of like, people prefer um, Life Orb anyway on Starmie. Spex yeah. is still kind of outclassed just because Recover is really helpful. That is true. Recover is really, really nice. Mm -hmm. Um, The thing is, this one soft checks or like even hard checks a lot of like our special attackers just because a lot of them have relatively weak offensive stats or shit that is not great clicking versus you like Dragalge clicks Draco and then is you know forced to switch as you're not going to be doing damage same thing with Gudra and like Vaporeon and Vileplume yep those are the not Pokemon that are used for attacking Heliolisk gets snacked on and like the Spadef is massive the 160 HP is absolutely phenomenal which means it's able to invest in, like, defense. Like, it can run max defense and not run max HP, and it'll be perfectly fine. Yeah, I and think then... that is an interesting thing for Lax. The EVs being a little bit more flexible. Sort of like how with Guzzlord, you don't have to invest yeah. in EV at all. And, like, even, like, the base stats-wise, this mod is very nice. 110 attack is... Not that shabby. It's, it's like, decent. not... Com it's pretty decent when, well, in a tier where we have shit like Braviary sitting at 123, Copper at 130, Escav at like 135, it's like relatively weaker. It's, but like, it, you make up for it with your other stats though, because those mods are nowhere near as bulky as Lax is. And while they have advantages elsewhere, I do think that raw bulk is really helpful, especially for how you mentioned things, checking things like, say, Salazzle, eating up the hit. That was another thing that I was just about to say, yeah. Rotomo gets snacked on. Like, and like the big thing about Lax is that it's not, it's not even just base stats. It's move pool is great. Mm -hmm. It has literally everything it could ask for, physical move wise. It has, you know, earthquake and fire coverage of some variety. Like, you can run fire punch, heat crash, whatever. Has heavy slam for shitheads that deal with that. Um,. I think Darkest Lariat is the big interesting that, move here. That is true because a lot of Mons, specifically Bronzong, are running Iron Defense Body Press, mm -hmm. and Darkest Lariat just absolutely ignores that. Being able to bypass that as a potential means of counterplay is really interesting. And it is also yeah. just generally like a good coverage move if you wanted to run Curse Rest to attacks. Mm -hmm. Because you'd probably go a, you know, a stab move and a Darkest Lariat complements that the best out of any option come on like curse lax i think will probably be the best set i imagine it's just, so it's just its ability to snowball due to natural bulk is really really sick yeah. so like, like curse rest body slam darkest i feel is probably the best but then you're rolled by dnc so right kind of kind of shifty as just the default filler EV thing in here that I have just for display, I did I went like max tech, max speed adamant just because I do think CB could still work. Yeah, it's, yeah, CB is definitely still an option when you have an incredible pool. Yeah. You can literally nail everything you need to. Like Darkest Lair is still fine on Bandit. You run like double edge as your heat crash, normal heat stab. Two. 
you have heat crash eq like even gunk shot could be a thing i don't know what you run it for but um, something popping sylveon instantly i don't know i feel like double edge yeah. would still do that yeah a lot of this coverage even though it's phenomenal is like relatively uh it like overlaps like yeah. why would i run gunk shot when i can run double edge and have neutral coverage versus everything and like even talon flame like having talon flame with wisp this shit gets rock slide so yeah. I think and, uh, there are a couple yeah. of things that I do want to touch on that might help balance out Lax, right? Yeah. So I think, for instance, the big thing is that a lot of the mons that it wants to hard wall, pivot. So that, you know, Heliolus, yeah, you is, might just be getting chipped hurting. away at by really powerful volts, which is same with Rotom Bow. Dragalge, even if you're switching in on Dracos, it, it's going to flip turn the next turn. Yeah, it just flip turns out. Yeah. yeah. Um, which is where I think uh, max speed kind of comes in i don't yeah. remember it's, let me look Max at drag speed hits real quick. 159 and a lot of dragalgy are sitting around that spot so it's a little risky like for yeah, instance if... most dragalgy are going to be creeping sylveon which is 156 so depending on how much personal speed you do want to run it may just already be out speeding lax and i think if we had lax in the meta dragalgy would be inclined to just go the little extra mile to hit 160 because that also gives you the speed advantage over like max speed adamant copper right which is relevant and that's i think something else worth mentioning too right competition for the like this sort of role of slow breaker with great coverage would definitely exist right so you got guzzlord which isn't really forced to run cb it's a great choice band user but a lot of them are running like three attacks with leftovers instead because it just lets you make use of that bulk even better Copper Raja with Assault Vest. Really fantastic coverage as well. Arguably better than Snorlaxes, or maybe about the same. I think it's, like, relatively similar. I think so, too. Because... Ah, let me look. I think it's slightly worse. I th but that's, like, if I'm very hesitant assume, like, on that. Heavy cause... Slam, Power Whip, Super Power, Stone Edge, you could probably say they're about the same. Yeah, probably, yeah. Maybe Laxus is, like, slightly better, because I can't think of a Mon that if you go Double Edge, Earthquake, Heat Crash, Lariat, just hard walls you, guaranteed. Yeah, I'm, I don't see one. Yeah, but the point is, is, you know, there would be a lot of competition, and right. I don't think CB is necessarily maximizing Snorlax's positive traits. It's not that it's a bad set, and I think it would actually get some run. It's just there's more, like, Oh, it becomes a little run. harder to justify that move, or yeah, that mo those move slots, that set, I guess in particular. Because even if you wanted to just compare it with like other breakers, right? Copper Raja, we threw out earlier, is a mon with similar attack, but it's you know like what 130, I think we said. I think I think it's like 130, yeah. You know, Braviary is a normal type breaker. It doesn't, you know, it breaks in a different way, but stronger. Tyrantrum, faster and stronger. Also, kind of nice to because it, like, hard takes advantage of Talonflame. Um, Golurk, another mon that's really hard to wall and only has to use stab attacks, essentially. Surf Surfetch also. Yep, Surfetch has stronger. priority and knockoff. It's just, I think the main thing that would make or break Lax would come down to how good is Curse. Because yeah. if on, that on set paper, becomes too hard to stop, then yeah. On paper, it's, like, incredible. Mm -hmm. But in practice, it's probably not as hyped up as I'm thinking, but, like, probably. I still think it's going to be really solid. And, oh, like, yeah. even then, I was looking at other options as well. There's definitely, like, it, the, uh, options for, like, AV, which is, like, four attacks, obviously, just right. to make yourself sponge every special attack better. Imagine running and, AV and then going, like, max attack, max defense. <laughs> that's what I'm saying. Like, the this one could definitely... Wall. You could definitely, like, afford to run speed EVs on that as well, and then just, like, find your speed benchmark that you're trying to hit. It's probably, like, maybe run Delmize, which is, like, what, base, like, 40? 40, 40? I think it's base 40. Uh, I think so, too. That's Yeah, yeah with the, which is 116, which means you don't have to run that much speed since you're base 30. You can run, like, 96 speed EVs and then run to like 160 defense or whatever and then run AV and you're just dunking on shit because you're strong 
And like, I think that a comparable mod to this, and it has not, I didn't even touch on the abilities. It has like three okay abilities. I think Thick Fat's an incredible ability, personally. Thick Fat is- Because that's a yeah. big reason why you can, um- Check Lazul a yeah. lot easier. I mean, it has Sludge Bomb, but hey, can't flame through, yeah. or at least smiley. It, immu uh, immunity is not terrible it, as an ability. Yeah. I could see some use, but I feel like it's just hard to justify over thick fat. Yeah. Because and then getting those resistances is really yeah. helpful. That is true. This one is now a uh, now a better Lazul answer answer Gudra. Yup. Like a little bit better. Like it already it already answers it, but like namely like Flare Blitz Talonflame also doesn't really do a ton with it. I think even just but, natural bulk probably lets you handle like offensive SDT flame. Mm -hmm. And yeah, then yeah. gluttony's funny, but like drum. I'm not. Relax. I'm. I guess I'm running belly drum with that. Yeah. With like, with like whatever citrus or like, eye popper or some shit. If recycle was good this gen, or is it even in the gen? Yeah, it is. Okay, yeah. If it still had the ability to recycle pinch berries, that'd probably be good with curse, but... Yeah. Well, it, okay, you can still recycle the pinch berries, but they're not healing nearly as much as they used to. Yeah, it's it's not a, as a reliable as an option. Yeah. But, like, I think a comparable mon that's already banned, it's not, like, a great comparison, but it exists in my mind at least, is comparing it to Entei. Right. Because Entei, when it was here, had two really solid sets in like CB and then a variation of Subcom Mind. Entei. Yeah. And then it also had those other time. options of like, like I saw a couple Howl sets. I saw like random special attacking shits. Like... Toxic text with just no call mine was something that I saw as well. Mm -hmm. It's just like it has a bunch of options as well as that offensive presence. Like it has a bunch of defensive options, but also has offensive capability. Like I'm I'm thinking curse as like that defensive parallel. It'll be really interesting to see what Lax does if we get it. I'm currently leaning towards it being broken, but I'm like definitely well I'm I'm like a very adamant person on the fact that I think it's going to be broken. Right. But like as the because it's it's hard to gauge when the mon's not in the tier and the only way we can gauge it is like room tours. Mm -hmm. And a lot but of like people for room tours are going to build new teams. So. Yeah, exactly. People aren't going to build new teams and then they're going to over prep. Mm -hmm. Like I remember one time we freed uh this is like a really shit kind of parallel I guess or shit uh comparison, but um we freed Drake of Vish one time. And then people were like, yep, Dracovish is balanced in NU, and I said, nope, you're wrong. Yeah, bro. Like, the mon that's got stab on Outrage is really worried about whether it can break through Vaporeon or not. Uh-huh. Tell me more. Yep. Yeah. Let's go over to the next couple mods. These are ones that, you know, Celebi would rise out of NU, Passimian into NU. I don't think we'll have as much to say on that, but let's talk about Celebi and the ramifications of it leaving. Because this would be a huge change yeah i think most people would agree that the rise of celebi is a huge reason that vaporeon while still a really good mon has fallen off because natural cure means you really just don't care about any of the bullshit vaporeon might do yeah recover lets you, you don't care about toxic healthy. yep like even ice beam vaporeon not the best matchup for you or not best matchup to celebi because one you're not that strong but two recover means you could sort of play around that yeah. And I think the main thing that I'd hate about losing Celebi too is it just limit what you could do team building wise. Because I do like getting to actually pick between Celebi and Rotom Mo, right? Yeah. I feel like it's not a one to one because both bonds do things a little differently, right? So Rotom Mo can more easily justify like Volt Switch even on nasty plot sets where Celebi doesn't really get that luxury with pivoting. At least we haven't seen any mm -hmm. nasty plot U turn in, in you. And of course, Celebi's natural cure thing just helps take advantage of those passive mons relying on Toxic a lot better than Rotom Mo can, while Rotom Mo is able to um, play around things like Mudsdale's Earthquake. 
it yeah. still doesn't want to get poisoned. It's ended it, like stalled out by a toxic protect. Same deal with against Bronzong. And hell, Celebi even is really good against checking our defense Bronzong. You just you always beat that so long as you have enough mm -hmm. recover power points to stall out plus six press. Yep. Uh, it's hard to say for me because obviously like I've not I've not used Celebi as much as I'd like to. Right. But like I feel like a bunch of shit gets better. Mm -hmm. like, I mean, even like Toxicroak and Heliolisk, you yeah, can say they get better because they do the, yeah. some of the same stuff that um, Selby would want to do, at least with taking advantage of those passive water types. Especially yep. Croak, man. Croak feasts in Vaporeon metas. Yeah, and that's what I think we might see. Like, we might see... Well, I'm, well might is like the wrong word to use. We will see more Vaporeon, and I feel like we're going to see more Mudsdale as well, because Mudsdale gets absolutely fucking shafted mm -hmm. by Celebi. Like, it doesn't even have to be grass stab Celebi. Muds is already really good, too. Like, whatever, yeah, we're doing a VR good. update this weekend, just leak there. Um, I'm voting Mudsdale to rise. It's really good. Yeah, this mod is incredible. Mm -hmm. And, like, Liss gets better. Guzzlord, I guess gets slightly better because now it doesn't have to watch out for like aura sphere dazzling gleam shit right i think um, guz honestly stays about the same i think if anything yeah, it's like it's drapion it's gets better because drapion yeah. actually just straight up gets o-code by plus two aura sphere and drapion's already really solid yeah i don't think it'd push it to s rank but it would like solidify no, it, it in a plus in my eyes mm -hmm. or who knows then, maybe like, if mudsdale um really took off it would drop i don't know this is obviously all very speculative, but there are a lot and of I, potential ramifications in this. Not yeah, so and I think enough. some like grass type breakers are gonna get better too. So like Rotom Mo, Rotom Mo, like if there's any questions right now about whether it deserves S rank, if Selby leaves, um, those questions need to be thrown away, binned yeah, immediately. Yeah, this mod will definitely be S rank if Selby is gone. Yeah, no, I, I already think it is definitely S rank. I think it becomes S plus 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 without Selby, but and know. then like. As an alternative grass type breaker, like Decidueye and Delmise are there, they do mm -hmm. kind of similar things. Maybe Celebi like, leaving will make people finally realize in Alolan Executor Supremacy. Yo, that's facts. I've been trying to preach the good word, but then you get people like RW saying, no, this mon bad. <laughs> and I'm just like, come on, man. <laughs> you don't have to shit on my hopes and dreams like that. What the hell? Yep. <laughs> All right, let's, let's get to this last mod here. I, I don't think we'll have much at all to say about pass. No, I mean, pass is just it's solid. solid. I mean, yeah. you literally run the same four moves every time. CC, you turn knock rock slide, and you're just a really fairly consistent revenge killer. Unlike yeah. some of the other fast mods too, like say Talonflame and Scarf Heliolisk, um, yeah. Simeon is not weak. I think that's like the big benefit to it. You, mm -hmm. you are 120 base attack. Your CC's hurt. And being one of the best ways to draw in Talonflame and get rid of its boots, or maybe even get rid of it outright if you rock slide it, I think is. Alright, we decided to unplug my headset for a little bit there. <laughs> <laughs> but being able to draw in Talonflame and get rid of it or cripple it severely is just so good in this meta. Especially when Talonflame is like S triple plus, like quadruple, mm -hmm. double stack, like even like, like if the blade drops man. right, knocking the blades of Violet really good potentially, and we've even seen in um at least one Snake Draft replay, Passimian being able to like cripple things like Sylveon is really helpful because not having to worry about those things wish protect stalling, or just protect stalling with lefties in general, like say Sylveon, Mudsdale, Vaporeon to some extent it is really good for making progress against those sorts of teams yeah I I don't have much else to say about that it's, uh, it's, it's just solid yeah I think this potential tiering update's got a lot of like I, I, I honestly am pretty hyped for it especially just to see how the potential drops of Deblade, Reggie Drago, and Lax would go mm-hmm I, I, I really want to see if Drago is going to be broken. <laughs> that's that's the one I'm the most... Yeah. Well, not really... I wouldn't say it's excitement, it's curiosity. That's mostly. my thing. Like, Snorlax, I honestly don't care that much about. I'm like, okay, cool. 
But with Regijerig, I'm just like, damn, can we have a bond that clicks one attack and is broken because of that one attack? Yep. I mean, we sort of have had that. If you think, like, Arctivish when Hail was around. Oh, yeah. Or... Fucking I was gonna say Arctizolt, but Arctizolt actually used its other moves. Yep. And yeah. Arctivish. And, like, this is the first time, I think, in... I think a year, if I'm not mistaken. Unless my math is just completely off. In about a year since we've gotten a new steel type into the tier. Um, actually, well, because... It'd be whatever we got the DLC 2 stuff, right? Because I think that oh, was yes, when we got exactly. Zonger and, mm -hmm. uh... Copper? Yeah, okay. When did a Scavalier drop? I want to say that was maybe, like, June, July, around there? I think it was, like, October. Oh, maybe it is a year, then. I think I it was feel, October was it 2020. Was around longer? I swear. Yes. Yeah, Escav was definitely longer because it dropped with Snorlax. Right. Oh, and Snorlax did. got banned. Yeah, and then... <laughs> yeah, I, I, think kept that, making I think it was the, in the summer. I think it was in the summer. I, think, I kept making the revelation that we only got one Mon in the shifts, and it was fucking Escav. True. I was like, yep, this this is really eventful shift here. Ooh. Yeah. Hey, man, there's still people to this day that think a scav should have been banned. We call those people wrong. It was perfectly <laughs> balanced. Same with Duraladon. Same with Nidjask. I won't listen to any other opinions. They were all fine. Learn to play. <laughs> Learn to play. Yeah. I don't think I've, I ever thought Dural was broken. I don't remember about Jask. I just was sick of Jask. Jask Come on, was annoying, annoying as shit. Thank you, man, for coming around to give some insight on some of these potential drops. Yes, sir. And for all the all that watch to this point, hey, man, I don't know how you put up with this, but <laughs> Godspeed to you. <laughs> Anything else you want to say to finish this off here? Uh, subscribe to my YouTube. Hell yeah, a one aka on YouTube. Check them yes, out. Sir. Link in description. Let's go. I'll catch the rest of y'all later. Peace.